Okay, hello everybody, what's going on? This is Muhammad. welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve for this definite integral. Okay, so we have here the integral from zero to pi of twice x multiplied by sine x divided by three plus cosine twice x dx. So how can we solve for this integral? Now, one of the ideas that should come to your mind whenever you're dealing with a definite integral is to use the property uh, the following property that I will write uh, right now here. Okay, so uh, if you have an integral, a definite integral from a to b of a particular function like f of x dx, this also is equal to the integral from a to b of the same function but evaluated at a plus b minus x dx. And this can be simply proven, and I have proven this property in a previous video which i'm gonna be providing you for the link for that in the description okay so based on this property our integral which i will call i is going to be equal to the integral from zero to pi and then i will replace every x by pi minus x so that's going to give us twice pi minus x multiplied by sine of pi minus x and in the denominator we have 3 plus cosine twice and I will replace x by pi minus x now this is dx of course now you guys can notice that sine of pi minus x is nothing but sine pi why because pi minus x is uh, an angle in the second quadrant and sine is positive in the second quadrant and whenever you add or subtract multiples of pi then uh, you're gonna get uh, sine again okay so this is gonna be equal to sine x exactly now in the denominator we have cosine twice pi minus uh, 2x which is equal to cosine minus twice x because whenever you add uh, a full cycle to an angle that's not going to change it so we're left with minus 2x and because cosine is an even function so cosine minus 2x is exactly equal to cosine 2x so basically i will rewrite this like uh, as, as, as follows okay this is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to pi the only difference that we're having here is pi minus x uh, which is the first term here so this is going to be equal to 2 pi multiplied by sine uh, x okay minus twice x multiplied by sine uh, x again divided by 3 plus cosine twice x dx and this, of course, can be split into two def uh, definite integrals. Okay, so I will do that. So the first integral is going to be the integral from 0 to pi of uh, twice pi multiplied by sine x divided by 3 plus cosine twice x dx. And the second integral is basically going to be nothing but our original integral, which I will call i again, okay? So you can notice, guys, that the other integral is exactly the same as the previous, uh, the, the original integral, okay, which is 2x sine x divided by 3 plus cosine x, which is exactly the same as here, and same limits, of course. <clears throat> so that would give us our integral again, but it's negative. So we move it to the other side, that's going to give us twice i on the other side and that's going to be equal to the integral from zero to pi now to solve for this other integral here what i'm gonna do is to uh to the numerator is not going to change of course okay uh, but the denominator i can rewrite cosine twice x using uh, as uh, follows actually three plus twice cosine squared of x minus one of course dx so that will give us uh, i equals the integral from 0 to pi. Now we need to multiply both sides by half. So that will remove the 2 in the denominator there. So we're going to be left out with pi sine x divided by 3 minus 1, which is 2. Uh, and I can take 2 as a common factor. And um, we're going to be left out with 1 plus cosine squared x of course dx so what we're going to do here we're going to take pi over 2 as a, a constant outside the integration and uh, you can notice here guys that we have 1 plus cosine squared and the derivative of cosine is, is is minus sine so basically we're missing a negative sign in the numerator so what we can do we can multiply by a negative here and 
uh, multiply by a negative sign in the numerator, okay? But let me repeat, rewrite this, okay? So minus sine x over 1 plus cosine squared of x dx. And you can notice, now we can use the tangent inverse, which is a very famous integral, okay? So this is going to be equal to minus pi pi 2 uh, tangent inverse or inverse tangent of cosine x because basically it's like we can use basically a simple u substitution cosine can be uh, set as u so the numerator is going to be uh, du so we're uh, and all the limits are going to be changing of course but let's uh, keep it like this and we need to evaluate this from 0 to pi okay so that's going to give us minus pi over 2 uh, the tangent now cosine pi is minus 1 tangent of uh, minus 1 is basically minus pi pi 4 okay minus if we substitute 0 cosine of 0 is going to give us 1 tangent inverse of 1 is going to give us pi over 4 so basically the uh, term beside between the two brackets is going to give us minus pi over 2 so that's going to give us minus pi over 2 multiplied by uh, minus pi over 2 again and that is going to give us pi squared over 4 and that is basically the answer to this integral if you like this video guys hit like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything in the future thank you for watching and see you in another video